A new year is the perfect time to give your closet a fresh start. So that is why I wanted to share some of the top fashion trends that we can expect to see popping up this year. Now I don't like being a slave to fashion at all, but I do like looking current and modern. So these trends are, in my mind, some of the most wearable fashion trends that we can expect to see in 2018. So if you'd like to see what those trends are and how you can wear them, then just keep watching. Supersized statement earrings are back and bigger than ever for 2018. So they're really architecturally kind of inspired. They're large, oversized, metallic statement earrings. And the great thing about them is that you can wear a really plain outfit and the earrings do all the work. Just like this with the white shirt and black jeans made extra special by some cool statement earrings. This has to be my favorite trend for 2018. Ruffles are back and I think they are super feminine and just really pretty. I love this ruffled shirt which just kind of gives a feminine edge to a pair of jeans. But expect to see ruffle detailing everywhere from the hems of dresses to pretty detailing all over the front of dresses and shirts and even places like this really cool sweater which I think the ruffle detailing just makes it extra fun. And the reason I think they are so wearable is because a simple ruffled shirt will just add such a lovely fashion edge to a simple pair of pants or jeans. These long line layers are everywhere this year too and I think they are especially great because they obviously will flatter every body type and they just sort of finish off an outfit and give it a really lovely modern edge. Your base outfit can be very simple from something like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and then you add this long layer to really just finish off the look. A lot of designers showed pretty pastels on the runway this season and obviously this has inspired the return of these gorgeous shades. If you're worried about pastels washing you out, you can always anchor a pretty pastel jacket or blazer with black or white underneath. This tends to give it just that little bit more oomph. And you can always team it with one of your favorite scarves. I love how this black scarf is actually giving this top to toe pastel outfit that little bit extra something. Wearing your logos everywhere was a real 80s, 90s phenomenon and it's actually back and bigger than ever. So if you own anything with a designer logo on it, now is the time to get it out. I've just got out some Louis Vuitton handbags that I was gifted when I edited a fashion magazine here in New Zealand. So I'll be using them again this season. And if you don't have the cash to splash on designer goods, well, you don't need to worry. There will be plenty of copycat designs out there too. Another trend that I was excited to see on the runway this season was fringing detail, which I think is always really flattering. This is how it was shown on the runway and this is how you can expect to see it this season. And fringing is actually really flattering to wear because it's like an optical illusion for the eye and it detracts your eye from any one particular part of your body. So consider opting for fringing this year.
I always think that plaid never goes out of fashion, but the designers showed quite a bit of plaid on the runways this season, so expect to see lots of it out and about this year. One of the biggest trends that we can expect to see are these plaid oversized man style blazers, which I think are super flattering and great if you are into thrifting. I've secretly been wearing scrunchies for years, but I am super excited that they are now back in fashion because I find them really handy and I actually think they look kind of cool too. Balenciaga had their models walking down the runway wearing these leather scrunchies and so that has restarted the trend for my favorite hair accessory. You'll be able to pick up scrunchies absolutely everywhere online for uh, super cheap but I'm particularly loving this Danish company Comfort Objects who are reimagining designer scarves and creating scrunchies out of them. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.